Bremer 3000, break on to 1500, pass altitude is 1000 feet for the initial. 602, 1500, front over at 1000 foot in the pattern, and uh, left or right break. It's a lot of plane. It's a lot, and it weighs more than anything we've ever flown before. It's also a lot faster and a lot of more powerful than anything. It's got a lot more thrust than we've ever touched. It's just, it just like wants to go to the moon, you know? The, the primary mission is ASW, anti-submarine warfare, but intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, using all the sensors that are inherent to the, uh, the aircraft, whether they be uh, sauna buoys for tracking submarines, the radar, the, uh, the cameras, all of those, all those pieces of the aircraft go into the very the multiple mission sets that the uh, PA is able to accomplish uh, when it goes out over the horizon. I think the, the PA is the most relevant aircraft that the Navy has today. You turn on like any 24 hour news cycle, more than likely you're gonna see a PA on there. I can't tell you how many times you know, I'll be in class or you know in the gym or something, and some, one of my friends will send me a picture like, "Isn't that your plane?" You know, on the news, they're they're always out there. Um, so I think that in today's you know global environment, um, you know, having a long range plane like this um, really gives us an advantage, and um, like I said, it's the most relevant aircraft carrying forward. The reason why it's important to the fleet is it's, it's, it's the eyes and ears of the fleet and the fleet commander. So uh, if there's anything that is of concern to the fleet commander, he's going to send out that PA to, to figure out what's going on for, for him and for his team. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, we become part of the, uh, the solution you know, all the way through the kill chain, finishing uh, whatever target is required.